Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Navi's flashing green here. I shouldn't say flashing green, she's glowing green, so I might as well do the Song of Time. By the way, you've seen the last part where I floated up to. That's where I ended up at on the uh, second floor here in that first main room that I went to and I met uh, Princess Rudo. Uh, what the heck was the point of this Song of Time block? I don't know, but I have a feeling it's going to lead to something important. No, wait, 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 I would like to shoot the thing. What? Well, that works. <laughs> I guess I should shoot all the things in this dungeon, otherwise I won't be able to find the things that are in this dungeon if things are going to be hidden like that. The long shot already? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, that makes me wonder... Because I recall needing the fire arrows in a dungeon in Master Quest, or at least I think I did. So what I, what I might actually want to do is, like, go outside the dungeon and, yeah, I believe I need to light these things with fire arrows. No, well, maybe. <laughs> the thing is, is that the, the fire arrows are right outside the temple, and you can't get them right now without the long shot. So what I might end up doing here is just doing one of these dealios, just saving and uh, quitting the game here. Hold on, I'm just going to press the button. Oh, oh, oh there we go. <laughs> uh, I was completely wrong about that. You can't access the fire arrows until a little bit later. In, in fact, the time in Lake Hylia seems to be stopped. <laughs> So, yeah, wait, can I lift this little block? Little suspicious block? No? Can I, like, roll into it? Eh. Eh. I remember I was able to roll into these little blocks in, uh, um, Four Swords Adventures, if you recall that one. So I thought, eh, what the heck, I'll try it. <laughs> anyway, let's look for, look through some more paths here in the Water Temple and see. Oh, a new place. And this is, well, not necessarily long shot necessary, but... It's certainly helpful. Yep. Yep. So we got a new room here. Bunch of crates. They are very breakable. Oh, we've only got pocket change in them, but my wallet's full, even though I got the largest wallet in the game. Dang you, Link! <laughs> Why must you pick up so much money? Oh, there's a crate. Is that something that I'll need to get into that room with the mysterious uh, bluish green switch? Maybe? I'm going to carefully fall down here and avoid the spikes. And hope that's a solution to this puzzle here. Because I didn't see anything in that room, unless it's Lens of Truth accessible. Can I jump to that? Oh, I can't. And that's a big problem, too. <laughs> I mean, if I can't get through there... I didn't see anything else in that room. And I know I can't hookshot while I'm carrying a crate. That would just make me drop the crate. At least I think it would. So maybe I missed something in this room. I don't believe that uh, if I raise the water level, that would help me in any way. Crates are back again. <laughs> Man, those things spawn quickly. It looks just so silly. I mean, you, you were just in this room and there's absolutely nothing and no one here. And then next thing you know, there's some more crates. Did I break all the crates in this room is the question? Because maybe there is something that is of assistance to me. Besides those, uh, uh, these little boxes here. Because I don't believe I can throw them across without, uh, risking de- Alright, look at the crate. <laughs> like that, basically. Is that if I try and throw them across, they'll break. If I take damage, they'll fall, apparently. Um, like if I were to just jump across it- Hmm. Man, I am... I mean, it just seems possible that I could jump across there with a crate, which would be a viable solution. <laughs> I'm just, like, walking back and forth here. For all we know, I'm, I've am i already cut this out. <laughs> just to save more time. Hmm. And why am I breaking those crates again? I don't know. There is clearly nothing underneath those things. And there we go. Now, where was the spikes? Okay, they are there, so if I jump right across like that, I'm safe. I'm just going to try this jump one last time to see if I can make it. 
I don't think I can without a roll, but I want to get it as straight as possible. Shortest point. Oh, you can do it. Okay, it's a good thing I tried that multiple times. The shortest path between two points is always a straight line, if you didn't know that. <laughs> and I'm just going to plop that there. And let's see what's beyond this door. Boink! Ding! I hear a skull too low. At least I think. Did I? I could have swore I heard a... Well, there's you. I'm not quite happy to see you, but you're here anyway. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, there's a skull tool on this room. He was quiet for a minute there. Where he is, though, I don't know, and I definitely want to collect it, its token. What? Whoa, switch. Hookshot target. That probably creates hookshot targets up above me if there wasn't one there. There's that one there. Oh, I betcha that's why I needed the long shot to come up here. What? 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 There we go. <laughs> All right, Skull Tula. Where are you? Oh, 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 there you are. <laughs> I didn't see you with my body in the way. Yeah, our first Skull Tula of the dungeon. Too bad, we, too bad we don't have the map and compass yet, though. That is a bad thing. At, oh, 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 so that's how you get to this one here. Keep that in mind, whatever you need to raise the water level. We have seen all of them now. So now it's all up to us to see what the solutions are on uh, how to get through rooms and stuff like that. Maybe that is going to be the puzzle on in the second, or in that middle room, excuse me, now that the water is raised up to the top and I can access the middle room, maybe, you know, from the higher place. Because I've seen some torches in this upper level here, but I don't believe there's any doors to this upper area. So that may be a problem, yeah. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky snakes. Uh, I'm going to do this dealio. Here's a little trick for you. Put on the iron boots to get below this ledge, and you'll sort of get yourself sucked underneath it. I don't know or understand why that works, but it does. <laughs> it doesn't work all the time, though, but if it doesn't, just uh, take off your iron boots and just swim under there manually. But now that I got the long shot, I should be able to get myself up to there, perhaps? Yeah, there we go. Now that I'm up here, is that a desirable action? Wait, well... What? You're telling me I can't get on top of that crate because of the fact that... Oh, Navi. <laughs> wait, 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 actually... Shouldn't I... No, 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 the iron boots. Iron boots, bad, right here. <laughs> I should be floating up to the surface. I am being an idiot. There we go. Now, what I want to do here... No, 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 wait, it's... I was playing the Zelda's Lullaby <laughs> instinctively, like I was going to raise the water level or change the water level or something. And there we go. And now what you want to do is get out Din's fire. I remember this because uh, I was really stuck in this room before because on my initial run through Master Quest, I totally forgot to get Din's fire and I didn't remember where it was actually. And this lights all the torches in the four corners of the room if you stand right in the center. See? And this unlocks, oh, the, the gateway down at the bottom, good to know. So I can knock off that puzzling room right away before I completely forget about it later. Good, good, ha ha ha. If, at least I think I'll be able to knock off that room. I would definitely love to do that because I don't want to come back in here later. You know, I like to clear rooms one at a time to make things less confusing for everyone, basically as that's sort of the walkthrough tip of the day number two here <laughs> is uh, you want to make things as organized as possible so people can follow it and also for yourself too so it's easy to keep track of things okay so we got some crates we got some blocks these blocks definitely were not here in the original <laughs> i hear an enemy by the way, uh, underwater, your only defense is your hook shot. Uh, I guess you can use your shield as well, but otherwise your only defense, well not defense, your only offense, excuse me, is the hook shot. So that's something that you're going to have to get used to uh, the timing of. But you have uh, 16 hearts at this point in the game, so you have a lot of room for error. <laughs> 
I hear the enemy. But where is... Maybe it's invisible or something, I don't know. <laughs> well, there's a... The gate is up above me there. It's blocked off. Stop! Screwing up. You know what? I'm going to leave those crates for later. I'm, I'm losing patience with the crates. Maybe the enemy is above me. Oh, there's a switch. Switch, 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 switch. That opens one of them. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what was that above me? What was that? Oh, it's, it's one of these things. You want to avoid... Oh, oh. <laughs> I fell into the ground. Uh, you want to hit them with your long shots, and yes, a red spray of blood will happen when you kill them. All the uh, enemies when you kill them underwater spray out blood. That is not kid-friendly in the slightest, but it happens. And that, yes, that is indeed blood, actually. So that was a pretty strange occurrence the first time I seen that. I mean, this is an E-rated game, and back when this game came out, uh, the whole dealio about blood in games was pretty taboo at the time. Anything with even a drop of blood would practically get a mature rating. So maybe it just like slipped past the sensors or something like that. Well, that I guess just released that spike ball guy. Maybe that was just part of the trap, the whole experience of the dungeon, so to speak. You know, it opened both things and yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, do I want to shoot this? Yes. <laughs> what does this give me? A key! Where is the key used for? I didn't see any locked doors. Unless I didn't have a sharp eye for them or something like that. Um, I'm going to break all these crates just to be sure. You know, that I didn't miss anything along the way. That room was still connected to this room if I'm not mistaken, so nothing should respawn. I believe... Yeah, I guess that was the end of the crate, so back we go to locate a uh, room with a key, I suppose. Um, hook shot. Do, 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 do. No, I'm going to have to float, aren't I? Yep, there we go. I suppose it's not that big of a deal to change your boots as long as you're already in that menu and you don't have to change like your other items along with it. I think you get what I mean by that. Um, now, where do I want to exit this place? Do I want to... this door right here. Like here, it's not that bad because I'm already on that screen so I don't have to change it at all. Ah! <laughs> Why did he do that? It was like he decided to, took the cor to take the corner wide or something like that. Don't fall off the edge, Link. Please. Link! As soon as I say that the boots aren't that bad, the boots start becoming bad. Okay, I'm gonna point myself towards the wall, take off the boot, or put on the boots, excuse me, because this way I'll be able to have a straight shot towards the wall and use it as sort of like a bracer of sorts. That way I won't fly off the platform somehow. There we go, it wasn't that simple. Now, a room with a key. Well, a locked door. <laughs> I don't recall seeing any around there. Maybe it was on the bottom floor. Uh, then again, I didn't. I didn't go through. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. <laughs> I didn't go through two. I mean, I didn't go through one room. Excuse me, on the bottom floor just yet. Oh no! Oh no! This room. This room was the bane of my existence. Back in the day. And especially now that I have to deal with the GameCube very touchy control. So maybe I'll come back here later. <laughs> I want to actually see before I move on ahead to something new. Is a new room. And the only new room that I know of is back on the bottom floor. First floor or whatever. Uh, this one right here. Unless it's blocked off. It didn't look blocked off. Uh, it's blocked off. <laughs> okay, to the waterfall room I go, I suppose. I have no other choice. So I'm going to float my way back up to the top. Oh, and I can also access this room now. I believe that leads to the boss room. So, I've got a couple of mysterious paths going on here. I suppose I'll be able to keep track of them better once I uh, 
get the dungeon map per se. At least I think. <laughs> I just wanna before I start anything in this room to look around and see if there's anything that I desire. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to make a jump for this thing. It 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 it. Well, that worked out. Oh oh oh! It's a moving platform. I have to aim for. That's well, a good shot, but not good enough. By the way, is there a Skulltula in this room? So oh, switch, 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 switch. This is something that I, is something I desire, I think. What did that do? <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, this this room is actually gonna be a piece of cake now. Because whoa, what? <laughs> I spoke too soon. Okay. So, oh, this room reset completely. Oh, that's too bad. I was supposed to grab onto the edge of those hookshot targets, but that was not the case. Mm. Fine, I'll just use, use my bow. See, what I wanted to do was like climb onto the side of it. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't grab onto it. That was kind of weird. Maybe I'm supposed to like grab onto a side one and then get myself like slide myself down to the lower one. Yeah, like that. That's what I'm supposed to do. And then. Wait, wait, what's that? I don't know what the heck that was. <laughs> um, how about getting myself up there first before I make any more accusations of this room? Yeah, this thing I can grab onto, but apparently the other ones I can't for whatever reason. Uh, that gives me a Deku nut. Don't know why I'd want one of those. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is end off the part here. I don't see anything else in this room. Might have to go through here a couple of times, but overall the water temple is definitely a lot easier than uh, the original because it's been very linear so far. So I hope you enjoyed this part and I'll see you in the next part when we see what's beyond that door. That was a bad spooky voice.